Namaste. How's it going? It probably might interest you finding out how I manage my day so I can fulfill my tasks and obligations as well as my spiritual goals. Yeah. I wake up early in the morning, half past four in the morning. Generally, I could be forgiving on Sundays since my class on Sundays doesn't start until half past 12 in the afternoon. But yeah, most of the days, half past four. After waking up, I do my personal observances and practice Nadi Shodana. Alternate nostril breathing with retention for 30 minutes. Then maybe another 5 or 10 minutes of contemplation just to have a quick plan of um, the day ahead. Then I make myself a good cup of coffee. I enjoy coffee. I manage the kitchen at home. I prepare the breakfast. Then I will teach. My first class starts half past 6 in the morning. All right. Sometimes it will start at 9 o'clock in the morning. If I have that time before the class or after the class, that first class, I will do my self-practice. All right. If I have the time, I will do my complete self-practice, yeah, asana only, which would uh, require me you know, a, a good two and a half hours to finish. If I don't have the time in the morning, if I only have like one hour in the morning, I would just tackle specific elements of my asana and then another session in the afternoon. Good. And then I will teach. Yeah, if I'm not teaching after my self practice in brekkie, I either do my admin, you know, manage the business, do my marketing, write lessons, do video tutorials like this, edit my videos, and they really take time. And of course, do some errands and clean. Yeah. Then come lunchtime. Yeah. After lunchtime, I manage the kitchen again. And after lunchtime, I would have another hour to do my admin if I'm not doing privates. And I enjoy and I have to do my siesta or afternoon nap. Yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah, from one or half past one in the afternoon, I do my nap to rejuvenate my system. Then yeah, I will teach again. If not teaching, I will do my self practice. Yeah. If I miss some components in the morning, I would do it in the afternoon. But most of the afternoons devoted to my students, either online consultation or teach classes, maybe two or three classes towards that afternoon up to about half past seven at night or seven at night. Then dinner, prepare the dinner, manage the kitchen. Yes, I enjoy my uh, short time of relaxation. Yes, I do my Netflix, although I'm, sometimes I would just have to manage my, <laughs> my watching you know, to 30 minutes because I can't do the full, you know, for example, a movie or a series here and there. And scroll a bit in social media to check for messages from my students. And, yeah, enjoy time for uh, yeah, relaxation. All right, then come half past eight, I do my breathing again. 30 minutes of Nadi Shodana with retention. Good. Sometimes I would start late nine, nine, uh, at night, yeah, but yeah, mostly half past eight, I start my breathing exercises once the food uh, has um, come down. Then meditation. Yeah, meditation is simple for me. Yeah, my my nadis are uh, open enough just for me to uh, you know, focus on the subtleness. Yeah, I don't do complicated meditation. After the uh, alternate nostril breathing, by the way, I do mudras as well as I do my breathing exercises. I do my kachari mudras. So I don't have to you know, practice a separate component with the mudra. I combine that either with the asana and pranayama. Then I will just hold the body still, listen to the nada, chant the om. Yeah. Sometimes you know, deep meditative uh, absorption occurs. Yeah. Otherwise, I would just drift to sleep. By yeah, 10 p.m., I'm already yeah, sleeping. And then some time, samadhi yeah, happens to me during sleep. Then I do it again the following day. Yes, yeah. When it comes to specifics, yeah, Nadi Shodana is the only breathing technique I do. No, nothing else. Yeah, no bastrika, no, no other techniques there. Yeah, depending on how I feel. Yeah, uh, sometimes I would engage the Ujjayi Pranayama as I do my Nadi Shodana. Rakechari Mudra for my Mudra. I don't do Shambhavi anymore. Uh, when it comes to Asana, 
moving the spine. You probably have seen my cell practice videos. Most of them are quite distinctive in advance and I just do the same elements over and over again. Yeah, extension of the spine, side stretching, twisting, back bend, and I enjoy my, of course, physical strength. Yeah, otherwise, without de me developing my physical strength, sustaining the rigors of the practice would be challenging because I do lots of demo. Yeah, I practice with my students and I need to fulfill my self-practice. Otherwise, yeah, I won't be able to keep up. And then when I do my demo, now I do it on my right side, then I will join them again to the right side and becomes again my right side. So I do the same side twice. So without my cell practice, my body would suffer. So cell practice is important to me. And now the shodana again at night, catch a remudra. And I just focus on stillness and silence, listening to the nada during meditation. Yes, it's possible. It's possible to... Your practice, <laughs> spiritual observances amidst the many modern requirements of um, contemporary times. Yeah? Of course, sacrifices has to be done. Yeah? They, we need to yeah, make sacrifices for us to gain on some departments. Yeah? Teaching is not the most financially rewarding, yeah, but it's really spiritual. It's my passion, and I'm yeah, grateful and appreciative of this gift, yeah, and this chance given to me, yeah. So sacrifices have to be done in order for us to gain on other departments. Yeah, time management is important. Good. I'll see you in the next one.